Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm talking about the Parker 61. Um, I just purchased one. Uh, it's from an online collectibles uh, store. I just saw it online. I ordered it. It was advertised as unopened and I saw a photo of it. It's sort of in a blister pack and um, the, it, the pen plus two cartridges. Uh, one cartridge was removed from what I could see on the photo. So I don't think the packaging um, is really unopened. I think it has been opened probably and one cartridge removed, but I'm hoping that the pen is essentially, you know, unused. That would be fantastic because I got it at a real bargain. So um, I ordered it, it arrived, it's still in the packaging. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to essentially unbox it, open it up. We will together see what I find, what I've really purchased. It could be a dud, it could be a great pen. I have no idea. I don't have a Parker 61, I haven't had one, I haven't played around with one before, so it's a totally new uh, pen for me. I just know that I, I really like it. Um, when I when I bought it, um, it I, I got it at a really good price so it was it was kind of an impulse buy but after I bought it I went online and I, I looked it up a bit and I assumed for some reason that it would have sort of you know the normal nib that you usually see every day and then I saw that it actually has a hooded nib which I'm really excited about because I really like the pens with hooded nibs. I, it's something about it. I, I really like the way that it looks. Um, and I really want one that performs well. I have a Parker 51, the, the newer version, and it is rubbish, I have to say. And that's a big disappointment because it's an expensive pen for what it is. Um, so when I saw that this one has a hooded nib and it's got an inlaid arrow, on the section and really really nice i was very excited about it um, then i saw that it comes with a capillary filler and i saw a lot of videos of people saying this thing is hard to clean it's going to be a pain etc but then i thought but the photo that i saw had cartridges so i looked it up a bit more and it appears that the pen was released first with a capillary filler and later in a you know a cartridge converter version so I think that is what I have, um, but I don't know. We will have to find out together what's in here. So we'll head on over to the table and I'll set up the camera for us so we can see what's happening. Bit of a warning, it's really bad weather over here, really window, so windy, so there'll be a bit of background noise. Cosmo is also all over the place, so you're likely to see him somewhere in the video. <laughs> Let's have a closer look at this. Right, so I've got the package here and I have Cosmo enjoying the view at the window. He's uh, looking at the birds and hopefully his tail is not going to be in the way. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's have a look at this uh, packaging here. It's not the best setup, but I'll see what I can do. Not the best knife in the world, but sure it will be okay. And uh, Cosmo definitely very interested. Right, so it's bubble wrapped, which is always a good thing. what we have here. Now this is interesting because on the photo that I saw there was no box. So this is a surprise and it is actually what I saw. Um, kind of a blister pack kind of a deal. But to say that this has not been opened, I doubt it. As you can see there is a second cartridge uh, that is missing. But I absolutely don't care about that. I'm only interested in the condition of the pen. But this is a pleasant surprise. 
and wow there is a date inside the box it says 9 December 1964 this is exceptional I don't often have a date with that comes with the pens especially one that is clearly older like this and this looks like it's a fine very nice so I'll put the box aside for now let's have a look at this so I'm not sure if this is let's see how do I open this I think I can just peel it away probably it'll just it will just slide out some interesting instructions at the back so we could always have a look at that later so I want to have a look at the pin so let's see let's put that aside now this has probably been opened at some point I can see some minor scuff marks on the barrel so I doubt that this is new and unopened and some mm, I'll see if I when I clean it properly but it looks like some scuff marks on the on the cap too but we have a very traditional Parker arrow clip which is fine sort of a gray jewel at the top on the finial as well as at the bottom of the barrel which is consistent with what I've seen online so uh, let's see I don't see anything else on on the barrel I can see Parker and very faintly there's a 61 made in USA with the Parker emblem another 61 and again Parker so looks to be pretty genuine and we have the hooded nib and a beautiful sort of inlaid chrome arrowhead right there uh, I do see some old ink on the nib so it's definitely not new that's for sure and let's see if there's anything in here interesting this is a capillary filler now I wonder if this now this is interesting why would it come with a capillary filler and a cartridge so I don't know I don't know if this can be removed it's quite stuck in there so I have a sense that this is not removable and I don't want to force it but I don't know why it would come with a cartridge thing and on the packaging assuming that this is the correct packaging it says Parker cartridge this and this is why I thought that this was the later released um, version of the pen tail cosmo yes and I don't want to I don't want to force this and so there's definitely been some ink in there which means that we're not going to be able to do a writing sample because I will have to clean this out and this from what I've seen is going to take a while still pen seems to be in a very reasonable condition for its age for a 64 and nothing appears to be damaged so assuming I can clean it out properly which I should be able to do this should make a really good writer so it's a few days later and I have been able to clean out the pen and get it ready for use now one of the things I had to do because this has a capillary filler uh, I needed to clean this and I suspected that the pen 
um, was used um, even though um, originally it seemed like it could have been uh, old new stock or something like that but the moment I put the nib into water I saw that there was some ink so I knew I had to clean it out and the capillary filler this does not come off so you have to clean it out and how you fill this um, is you put it this way down in ink so I would have to if I wanted to ink it I would um, where you would normally put the nib into the ink you would put it this way around leave it for I don't know uh, probably 30 seconds or a minute or so and the through capillary action the ink travels into the I think there's an ink chamber or something and that's how you fill the spin so to clean it I started by using the same strategy put it in water and then essentially what I did was to blow on the end of the capillary filler because the your openings there but very little came out and I wasn't sure because I have no idea how much ink this um, capillary filler holds and I repeated that a few times and it became clear that's not going to be the way to clean this pen. So the other thing to do then is to get a um, bulb syringe. Right, and what what I normally use are these ones. And um, you just cut off the tip there until you have a size that fits. Fit this over the capillary filler, it's a nice tight fit. Dunk it in water and squeeze it a few times and so you pour water in through the nib and feed and expel it again. And um, that cleaned the pen very, very quickly. So there was very little in there. I think it was actually cleaned before and what was still left inside maybe would have been very little. So, but getting, uh, because I have two bulb syringes that I already use and, and they, they're cut to size, and um, but this one needed I needed one with a bigger hole so I had to go and shop for another one and these things are I don't know for some reason they're quite hard to find so when I did find some I bought probably all three in within 100 kilometers of my area so if anybody else is looking for one uh, that's why you're not gonna find them so I don't know I I don't know if people do people really use these things these are, what are they, snot suckers essentially, so uh, I, I would say that um, a bit, because these are hard to find, now you find all these new ones, they, they're shaped differently, you can't, you can't really modify them like this anymore, which is a problem, so either um, they have to, you know, realize that those of us in the stationary fountain pen will they use these things and keep these old ones on the market or stationers need to um, you know stock some of this otherwise we're gonna have to find a new way to clean pens but anyway I cleaned this, this pen out and we will do a writing sample in a minute and I'll show you how this thing performs so for the writing sample as usual I'm using rhodia.pad and I've already filled the pen and I am using Parker Quink. Um, well, because this is a Parker, not that that is always um, the determining factor, but I wanted to be consistent and use a Parker ink and Parker Quink also with all their pens. I know it's very safe and this is also ink that I know is very easy to clean. It's easy to, to use it and maintain your pens and because this pen is a little bit of a um, I don't know little little tricky to fill and clean I guess not anymore but it could be I wanted to use an ink like that all right so on to the writing sample so what we have here Parker 61 the nib um, on the box it says fine, but I am pretty sure that this is a medium nib. Uh, I cannot see any way that that can be a fine. It writes like medium all, all the way through. And the ink I'm using, of course, Parker Quink. Mm -hmm. 
and washable blue. In terms of weightness, this pin is really decently wet. I have noticed that it very quickly tends to become dry. Line variation, no, you're not going to get line variation, um, but it doesn't matter. This is a really, really nice um, medium. I don't know why you would want any line variation. Uh, I have noticed it. it it's almost as if it dries very quickly and it and I don't know how much ink the capillary filler holds so if anybody out there has any idea I've seen one or two videos where people mentioned that it holds a good amount of ink um, that is not my experience I haven't written it until it's dry so either it doesn't hold a lot of ink or um, the maybe the flow through the section isn't that great when I do a lot of writing. I do notice if, if I cap it and I leave it a while um, and I start up again, it's, um, it's, it's quite wet. So I hope it's not a flow issue, um, but let me know, anybody with some ex experience of the capillary fillers, I really don't know much about it and I would love to know more about what is inside and how much ink does this thing really hold. Okay, so let's do a little bit more writing. And I can mention that today is a lovely rainy day. We actually had some serious rain coming down yesterday. Lots of roads flooded. People actually evacuated in some areas. Um, but today it's just just a nice um, consistent rain. So it's maybe appropriate that I write something about rain. This pen is an excellent writer. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I found that whenever I bought an older or a vintage pen, I haven't had the greatest writing experience, but the nib on this pen is really, really smooth. It's buttery smooth. It, there is a bit of feedback, but it is very typical Parker feedback, if you know what I mean. Um, so you feel the nib on the paper, but it is smooth. Um, ink flow in terms of the writing sample I think is, is pretty good I don't think I don't think there's really a flow problem because it's laying down a decent amount of ink and I think it has no problem keeping up look at that so I don't think I don't think there's an ink flow problem but it would be nice to have a little bit of information about the capillary filler so anyway if you enjoy this video please like and subscribe um, I really appreciate the support and if you have one of these use one of these please let me know I would love to know more about these pins um, this is my first Parker 61 and I am um, thinking about how old this pen really is and the condition that it's in I'm very happy to have been able to get one of these in this great condition and uh, yeah I would like I'd love to maintain it properly and um, Hopefully use it for many years to come. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you soon.